back and welcome to the now cosy interior of my 42 foot catamaran. Well, kind of this bit is cosy, the rest is not so cosy. A lot cosier now though than it was seven months ago where I found this boat rotting in an anchorage here in the Netherlands. I spent two months just preparing the boat to move here to this boatyard where I'm in now. I spent three months on the hard, doing as much as I could below the waterline, painting and lots of other little jobs. I was put back in the water a couple of weeks ago and now that I'm in the water my main priorities are to get the mast up and to get the boat moving under engines and that's going to be my main focus for the next month or two or three. I would really love to sail this boat before the end of the year and then I would like to have a sailing project if you know what I mean. That's my goals with this boat. In the last video I was looking for a place to put my main cap shrouds for the mast but I did get sucked down a little rabbit hole fixing some spongy deck and in this week's video there are also more rabbit holes to be explored all towards getting the boat sailing and moving as soon as possible thanks for watching I have this whopping great power bank here and it's taking up all this space and it's just way too much for what I need at the moment here in this hull. So I'm going to move this out to the other hull. I never reach out to sponsors but because I know Bluetti quite well at this point because they gave me this for free and I asked them if they had any smaller units, something that would be good for my needs, charging my computers, speakers, uh, phones and also powering higher wattage stuff as well so they've sent me another one and i'm gonna move this to the other hull so i'll still use it but i'll have a smaller one for in here i can probably just put it in front of my bedroom so it's gonna be much easier unlocks this new living space obviously spending so much time on the boat it's uh, nice to have a good amount of living space especially in these narrow holes so i'll take this out i'm gonna unbox the new one <laughs> There's no like fancy schmancy packaging that you sometimes get with these. The design is good. I mean, it looks decent enough. Everything's clear. The touch screen's really easy to use. I don't want to sound like I'm overselling it. Like I said, I contacted them and it's just something that I would like. I'm not gonna put a shore power system on the boat and uh, this is just a super simple way for me to get inverted DC. They also sent me a solar panel as well, 350 watts. This is, this is just super simple, no wiring, no drilling into the wood to disguise wires or anything. Everything's just there in a box and the quality with Bluetti is decent. Like a glove. Yes. Got my solar panel. So this is basically a 2000 watt hour lithium battery and a 2000 watt inverter. Obviously it's a more difficult job than uh, what I thought it was going to be, as it always is. <laughs> I feel like I've opened up a lot of cans of worms and uh, my work is becoming a bit disjointed. I'm following this little rabbit hole and then going down another little rabbit hole, so uh, I need to think about what I'm going to do next. This whole thing, the whole reason why I'm doing this is so that I can find a place to put the chain plates. I just wanted to see the composition of everything, get used to working with this, uh, I don't know, this structure, checking the quality and the rot and everything. So yeah, I'm definitely getting used to it. 
make sense to seal this up from the outside first and then continue on the work inside. It's really not fun filming uh, this because it's on the edge and my camera could fall in the water and that would be horrific. The gaps that I need to fill in this instance are obviously quite big so I am going to fill up a lot with filler and I'm just going to put uh, two pieces of fiberglass over everything. So this is the low density filler. It's really good at kind of staying put so you can put it on vertical surfaces pretty easily. It won't sloop down. I thought I could fill all of it, but it's quite deep, so put one layer on of the super thick filler. I'll have to do it again later. Thank you so much Adrian for getting me a new circular saw blade on, a, on my Amazon wish list. I'm not sure my Amazon wish list is working because nothing's gone off it. So I think, I think it wasn't working and a few people said so thanks very much Adrian. I'll try and get the wish list working. I am being a lot more precise with my measurements, but it means that it takes a lot longer to do this stuff. That cut was very, didn't look very smooth, especially with these wonky little stands, but it worked pretty well. So I've finished fiberglassing the outside of this horrific mess. So yeah, a lot of people from the last video were saying that the boat's completely rotten and it's, it's, it's an absolute mess, but every little bit of rot in the boat has come from a particular place. So, and it's very clear to see why the boat is rotten in the places that it is. So yeah, it doesn't worry me. I've patched it up on the outside. It's definitely a patch up job. Now I'm gonna start working on where my chain plates are gonna be.
So I've cleared out this space. This plywood up here was a little bit wet, but it was epoxy coated, so I've dried that out and that's dried out nicely. Um, I've also cut out some ply backing for the chain plates. They will be epoxied in there. This is the actual chain plate, which will go on the other side, which was previously put here. I made a little cut out as well so I can see exactly where I'm going to put the backing plate because I'll put a ply backing plate as well on it and it's going to go something like, well I'm not sure just yet because it depends where the mast goes but it could go here, anywhere around here. Uh, I also have ply backing plates for here also. However there is a problem, a bit of a big problem. Down here every day or for the last two days, water has gathered. So because the boat is leaning forward because of the weight in the front, there's water traveling from the other side because all this water that came through here came through these holes and uh, there's holes on the other side. So this rabbit hole is about to get a little bit deeper. down here still is water I'm guessing all this bit of uh, foam is wet also here this was all wet I've uh, started to dry it out in here now it's not too bad still a little bit of moisture is just tri dripping down so I'm gonna let all this dry out over the next couple of days while that's drying out I'm gonna continue with this side I have the foam from my battery bank packaging and a big knife and maybe with this foam, which I guess is pretty water resistant, I'll put little patches in here, put the panel on, Bob's your uncle. Okay, we're ready to do this. We're ready, are we ready? Okay, so 
acetone, epoxy, epoxy filler, brush, mixing pots, drill, screws. So I'm going to screw it in with these cheap screws, and then take them out and then fill them. Uh, drill. I'm going to apply the glue with this thing for the board. A respirator, my last rubber glove, so I have these less good gloves for this type of work. I've also marked off where I'm going to put the screws, marked off where the stringers are. Yeah, I'm going to start just by painting everything, take the foam out one, by, one piece by piece, paint behind it, stick it on, and then filler, boards, same on the top. Okay, time lapse. It's the middle of September and yeah, autumn has already started and you can feel it. I mean, it's still not too bad in terms of being cold, but um, it's very wet. It's getting darker a lot sooner. I was always using these lights, these camping lights from Decathlon. Oh, that's working now. But both of them died. I thought that this would be like a viable solution to lighting on the boat, just having portable lights. I have actually got, I'm trying a couple more out with larger battery uh, sizes, so hopefully that should last longer. I also have these little spot lamps which I just got, which are very cosy. They're also USB rechargeable, and you can just stick them on the roof with a magnet. There's one up here. <laughs> with winter coming, I am getting a little bit, feeling a little bit cosy, so um, even though I'm doing all this work on the interior, I'm still making sure I have a very cosy little space, and yeah, I love the design of the interior, it's super simple, super minimal, going to be spending a lot of time here over winter fixing up the boat, so it's nice to have nice living quarters. And also nice that I have all this work to do inside while the weather's like this.
super nice now having this power bank here, having loads of space now in this hull, getting really cozy, prepared for some hard work uh, over the winter. Yeah, I've left a link in the description. So if you're in the market for a portable battery system, use the links in the description. It helps the channel uh, out a lot. Like I said, I don't like doing sponsorships, but really like Blue Eighty stuff. So thank you very much to Blue Eighty for sending it to me. There's also links to my other 5,000 watt inverter setup, which has been incredibly useful. When I've lent these out to friends, including the big one, they've uh, absolutely loved it. There was uh, a guy doing a DJ set on a boat around here and he used my uh, power bank and it was, it was good for that. They literally, they last for ages, they're really simple. Anyway, don't wanna oversell it. I know you've probably watched a load of adverts to get to this point in the video anyway, but yeah, links in the description if you're in the market for something like this. Yeah, it was a bit of a slow week of work. Dodgy weather, was kind of taking it easy a little bit as well. But yeah, in next week's video, we'll get these uh, chain plate places sorted. My parents are coming in a few days or in a week. So they're gonna come down, me and my dad are gonna really put our heads together and think about how we're gonna get the engines mounted. Uh, a few more things I need to do with the mast. I need a mast beam. Uh, need to put new stays, new uh, halyards, all, all this stuff. That's all gonna be coming up. And yeah, thank you so much for uh, being patient. Obviously I missed a week last week. Thank you so much for all your coffees, PayPal's, Thank you to everyone who signed up on Patreon. Literally, I have to pinch myself every day because this is my, personally, my dream job. And uh, yeah, I'm just so, so happy, so, so grateful that I can make these videos, get free stuff <laughs> and uh, work on my own boat. So thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. And yeah, thanks just for watching, for your comments, your advice. See you next week.